5 Haunted Locations in China Number 5. The Wukong Mansion The story of Wukong mansions is both captivating and unsettling. Built in 1924, this architectural marvel was originally called the Normandy Apartments, paying homage to a World War I battleship with its impressive, ship-like design. Back in Shanghai's heyday, it was home to a lively community of wealthy foreigners, showcasing the city's diverse and cosmopolitan vibe. But things took a dark turn after World War II. When Mao Zedong and the Cultural Revolution came into power, the residents of the mansions, artists, intellectuals, and celebrities were targeted. Once admired for their talents, they were now labeled as bourgeois or counter-revolutionaries, facing public humiliation and persecution. This turbulent time is said to have left a haunting mark on Wukong Mansion. The despair and shattered lives of its former residents seemed to linger within its walls. The building's unique wedge shape led to it being nicknamed the Diving Board due to the rumored suicides that occurred there. While the exact number remains unknown, tales of tragic endings within the mansion abound. Whether the ghost stories are true or simply a product of its dark history is up for debate. Nevertheless, Wukong Mansion stands as a poignant reminder of a past era, silently witnessing the city's dramatic transformations. The echoes of bygone days and the lingering sorrow of its inhabitants create an atmosphere that continues to intrigue and unsettle visitors to this day. Number 4. Tok Tok School The history of Tok Tok School in Ping Shan is full of mystery and spooky rumors. Established back in the 1930s, the school had a good run for many years. But there's talk of a darker side to its past. According to local legends, the school was built on top of an old burial ground that got disturbed during the Battle of Hong Kong in 1941. People say the spirits from that time still haunt the place, causing all sorts of paranormal activity. One of the most famous stories is about a woman in red, who some say was a school official that tragically took her own life inside the building. Some say she was the headmistress, others say she was the headmaster's wife, but everyone agrees she's a sad spirit. In 2011, a group of teenagers visited the abandoned school and claimed to see creepy things and feel really scared. Some think they just had a freak out, but it only added to the school's reputation as a ghostly hotspot. The truth about the hauntings is still a mystery. Without solid historical records about the suicide, it's hard to know what's real and what's just a spooky story. But with the school's eerie past, its rundown state, and all the unsettling tales, Tok Tok School has definitely earned its title as one of Hong Kong's most haunted spots. Number 3. Nam Ku Terrace Nam Ku Terrace has a chilling history that dates back to World War II. Originally a fancy mansion in the early 1900s, its peaceful vibes were shattered when the Japanese took over Hong Kong. The Tu family, who lived there, had to run for their lives, and the mansion supposedly turned into a comfort house. A nice way of saying it became a brothel for Japanese soldiers. It's said that women, many of whom were forced into slavery, endured terrible abuse and violence there. This dark past has left a mark on Nam Ku Terrace. People say the place is haunted by the spirits of those women. There are stories of visitors seeing ghostly flames flickering in the empty building, and some swear they've heard cries and screams echoing through the halls, reminders of the horrors that went down there. The haunting really took off in 2003 when a group of middle school kids snuck into the mansion to hunt for ghosts. The local news said three girls got super freaked out and claimed they were attacked by a ghost. This incident, whether it was all in their heads or not, sealed Nam Ku Terrace's representative as a seriously spooky spot. Whether you believe in ghosts or not, Nam Ku Terrace is a reminder of a dark time in Hong Kong's past. The lingering sadness and despair there make you wonder if the spirits of those poor women are still wandering the halls. Number 2. Chow Ne Number 81. The history of Chow Ne Number 81 is full of mystery and conflicting stories, 
which only adds to its reputation as a haunted spot. This beautiful French Baroque mansion's origins are unclear, with some people thinking it was built for the Qing Dynasty imperial family or maybe even a church. However, there's no solid evidence to back up these claims. The spooky legend surrounding the place involves a tragic event tied to China's political turmoil. The most popular story suggests that a high-ranking official from the Kuomintang party left his wife or mistress behind in the house when he fled Beijing in 1949 during the communist takeover. Allegedly, she was so heartbroken and alone that she took her own life by hanging herself. But, there's no historical proof that any such person ever lived in the house. Despite the lack of concrete evidence, the tale has captured people's imaginations and led to the belief that Chao Nei No. 81 is haunted by the spirit of the sorrowful woman. Reports of strange happenings like flickering lights, ghostly voices, and feelings of unease only add to the mystery. These experiences, along with the building's abandoned and decaying state, have cemented its reputation as a haunted landmark in Beijing. Some think these stories are just urban legends fueled by China's rich folklore and beliefs about the afterlife. Whether the hauntings are real or not, Chao Nei No. 81 remains a fascinating piece of Beijing's history, wrapped in a cloak of mystery and local legends. Before we head to our top one, if you liked our content please subscribe to our channel and don't forget to hit notification so you never miss out on our latest uploads. Leaving a like and comment will help our channel with the YouTube algorithm. Number 1. Fengmen Village Fengmen Village, also known as the Sealed Village, is nestled quietly in the mountains of Henan Province, China. Its origins are a bit of a mystery, with experts guessing it was established sometime during the Ming or Qing dynasties. The well-preserved buildings in these styles stand tall, giving a glimpse into the village's past. But what sets Fengmen Village apart from other historical sites is its reputation as a haunted spot. There are all sorts of spooky theories floating around about why Fengmen Village is deserted. Some say the villagers ran away in fear, while others talk about a tragic plague or a brutal bandit attack. With no solid records to set the story straight, people's imaginations run wild, adding to the village's eerie vibe. Visitors brave enough to explore Fengmen Village have reported some creepy happenings. They've heard strange voices, felt like they were being watched, and even claimed to have seen a ghostly figure tied to a cursed wooden chair. The chair supposedly brings bad luck to anyone who sits in it. The truth behind Fengmen Village's past and its ghostly reputation remains a mystery. The lack of concrete info and the chilling legends have turned it into a hotspot for thrill-seekers and ghost hunters. It's a place where history and mystery collide, making it a must-visit for those looking for a spooky adventure. There you have it. Five haunted locations in China. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and leave a comment down below. And of course, hit that subscribe button for more terrifying tales from Scary Paradise. Until next time.